it, Everick fans. Let's banish some dust demons with this cool vacuum cleaner sent to me by Clean My Bricks. Let's check it out and see how it goes. So as I said in the intro today, I'm going to be reviewing the Clean My Bricks vacuum cleaner, which they very kindly sent out for me to have a look at. Uh, I've actually been looking at this one for a while. Um, it, I think it's going to be a valuable little tool, especially going to conventions and just generally keeping my collections and things clean. Uh, so uh, let's go check out how she fares. Here we go. We're going to open her up now and see what we've got inside. It's definitely well packaged. Uh, it's basically the idea is that it's there and made uh, for essentially cleaning up dust uh, on your Lego builds and stuff like that. So basically the product on top is the LT101C version. So uh, let's open her up and see what we got. Different color to what's on the front. The front is white, uh, not that I mind really. But we basically got a sort of closed in end. Also got a vacuum cleaner head. Got the brush one, which I think is probably gonna be the most useful one for Lego builders. Charging cord. USB based. And of course, the most critical thing, which is the gun. Clean my bricks. Pretty neat, uh, neat and sleek design. It's pretty much like a uh, like a hairdryer, really. And not that I use a hairdryer that often, but that's kind of like the weight of it. Oh, it's already half charged. Cool. All right, so that is all of the product that you get in this package here. How does this work? Oh, there it is. Okay. So pretty simple. And that will go on the front like that. Or straight in like that. So for the purposes of this overall, uh, I'm not going to use this one because it's basically just like a uh, more of a floor vacuum cleaner. Uh, so I'm just going to stick with the brush. So that's good. And obviously we won't need the charge cable. Now what I'm going to be doing is I'm actually going to do this. Uh, this is a gray base plate. Uh, pretty straightforward. But what I do have, I actually keep my minifigures on this one. And as you can see, it's real dirty and it's been there for ages. That is just a buildup of really intense dust. So uh, I'm going to do a little section. I'll just do like kind of this half here and we'll see how that basically turns out. All right, let's have a look and see what I've done. Now, even uh, from here, you can see that's basically where I have done to this side and you can see the dust on this side, but just so you can see it even more. So that is the dusty side and there is the non-dusty side. Now that looks pretty clean to me. Uh, a few little bits of dust still in there, but I'm sure with uh, a little bit more effort, uh, I could probably really soup that one up, but already that's just looking substantially better when you compare it to this grossness that's going on over here. Okay, so before I kick off my builds, we're gonna get started with this little Republic gunship again. Pretty dirty. Okay, so let's see how we are going now compared. Wow, that is it's definitely a lot better. And, you know, even with these sort of fragile parts, it did pretty well to uh, avoid doing that. Now, that one had a little mark on it beforehand. That's actually like a, like an imprinted mark. So that's not some dust. So that's actually, that's not too bad. And it's the same with uh, that little bit there was just a bit of extra. So uh, I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, so here is one of my builds that I have literally been having on the shelf. Uh, I'm going to make this one a snow scene because this is something that I do occasionally in uh, taking some Lego photography. So I'm gonna get the old baking powder test out and this is always a bit of a pain to uh, clean this stuff up so I thought it would be a good opportunity just to uh, smash it out to create a bit of a snow scene here and see just how well 
uh, this sucks her up, basically. There we go. We ready for this? Okay, so I accidentally just sucked up a piece, uh, which is okay, because uh, you literally just turn this. This is the filter, which uh, I have actually given a little clean out uh, previously as well, just uh, just because the, like we're talking about like flour, so the flour really gets built up in there. So I did give it a little thing, but literally your piece is just sitting in there, uh, which is quite easy. There's no sort of craziness to go through, but that's uh, that's it. Okay, well there you go. Uh, I think. From where that started, uh, honestly, flour, I think, is one of the hardest things to vacuum or clean on a build. Uh, you might have seen some of the pieces, the more fragile pieces, falling off, because uh, I did have to put uh, apply a, fit, a little bit of pressure just to get the suction to actually take it, but that's pretty normal with vacuum cleaners. I think generally uh, it, it, uh, that more came down to uh, the style of build that I've done and not necessarily the vacuum cleaner. I think I would have had to take that off in most cases, but yeah, that is looking uh, pretty clean considering I didn't really spend that long trying to uh, clean it. I probably would more strategically place, take off some of these pieces uh, to then get in and clean it a bit further. I did have to um, empty the filter, which is pretty easy. You literally just take it off, take that piece out that we took out when I sucked up one of the pieces and then just take it out and give it a bit of a tap into uh, a, a rubbish bin or whatever you're gonna put your empties in but yeah that was pretty much it and then after I did that I actually sucked up a lot more and this I haven't actually charged this fully yet I mean I, you meant to do that at the start uh, but it was already charged so I just kind of went for it and as far as I'm concerned if it can pick up flour the majority of flour then it's pretty solid so this thing because it's so light and it's USB chargeable I can also put it into the car and use it to clean uh, the kind of smaller crevices of the car but also I can take this away to conventions and uh, you know like if if something gets spilt on it or whatever I've got it there to be able to clean the build pretty quickly so definitely I think this one is worth a look at guys if you're looking to uh, get something that is lightweight uh, USB chargeable and can clean your bricks uh, pretty damn well uh, considering I mean that thing was completely covered in flour So the fact that it's got back to this point. I think is doing pretty well. So yeah clean my bricks There it is. Thank you once again for sending this out It was a lot of fun to use and lightweight easy as Get amongst it